What if we told you the most effective way to prevent getting cancer was to remove your breasts and ovaries? Not a great choice, right? But that's how it stands now for people born with BRCA mutations. And that's an improvement. Before identification and testing for mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes, most women with BRCA mutations developed cancer and many died. Now that there are genetic tests, there are choices. They're just lousy choices. If you have a BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation, your lifetime risk of developing breast cancer is as high as 80%, your risk of ovarian cancer as high as 45%. And while breast and ovarian cancer are the best known BRCA-related cancers, both men and women with these mutations have a higher incidence of other cancers as well. The Vassar Center for BRCA is the only center in the world solely devoted to BRCA-related cancers. It's a global hub, a place for families to get educated, receive genetic counseling, manage their cancer risk, and get treated. It's also a center for cutting-edge science. Vassar is breaking down barriers, working with other institutions, and funding innovative research everything from developing a preventative vaccine to looking for biomarkers in the blood for early detection. The ultimate goal is to find a cure. So what can you do? First, find out what's in your genes. Look into your family history. Some people are at greater risk. If you're in one of these groups, make an appointment to see a genetic counselor. Second, spread the word. Discuss BRCA with your family and friends. Are they at risk? Third, support the Basser Center for BRCA. Every day, mothers and fathers pass this mutation to future generations. They need better choices than we have now.